summertime means sun, beaches, relaxation, unless you're an employee, works year round with all these fun distractions. No surprise productivity in the summer sees a dramatic drop. 41% of full time employees reported being less productive during the summer, according to Day Force. Meanwhile, 31% reported slacking off while their boss is on vacation. To avoid these summer slumps, many employers are offering flexible work policies. Career coach Liz Bentley joins us now to talk about the benefits of those policies. Great to see you, Liz. Good morning. Great to see you too, Mary. Okay, the first option that comes to mind for many is Summer Fridays. A Monster.com poll found 66% of workers say they were more productive when taking part in Summer Fridays. So why is it so beneficial? And first, tell us what it is. So Mary, let's start with the fact that since early childhood, we had been conditioned to shift our mindset into summer, thinking that we should slow down, have more fun, spend time with family and friends, get outside and take vacation. So, you know, for, from the start, people are thinking in the summertime, it's really a time for them to take a break. Now, in 2019, 55% of the companies were offering summer Fridays, which meant you had the whole day off or could leave at a half day, some version of that. But once we hit the pandemic and remote work started and hybrid work environments developed, companies really abandoned it. So people are starting to come back to it because they're recognizing that people do better when they get a break, when they're rested, when they can really enjoy their summers. And I also see that we're having a backlash to all the technology that has been attached to our hip when we can do our work from planes, trains, and, and automobiles, and we have laptops and phones that are on us all the time, people have had a hard time setting boundaries. So it's a good time in the summer to really embrace the fact that people can have some time off and come back to work really rejuvenated on Mondays. So in some European countries, companies have resorted to a four-day work week. Is that something that should happen here? You know, it's really interesting. Not many American companies have done it, but a couple have tried it out. And their mindset is that people are not that efficient in a five-day work week, that their meetings aren't as, as efficient as they could be, that their time isn't as focused. And so they're saying, how about if we reduce it to a four-day week where we have incredible productivity in four days and then get three days off? Now, it sounds good, right? But there are a lot of problems. Number one, many companies aren't doing it, doing it in the United States states so you're kind of off with all the other companies second there's no guarantee that everyone is really shifting all their habits to be incredibly productive in those four days so we'll see how that goes going forward my suggestion either way is that you should absolutely have your two days off on the weekend I have found that in coaching that people who are making their employees work on the weekend really have been very inefficient in their five days and better to really try to improve your efficiency in your five days and teach those two days off on the weekend so you can really recover. It, work from home has been a long-standing policy for many companies, especially after the pandemic. But are you seeing more companies increasing the amount of time employees can work from home just for the summer? Yes, we're seeing two main things coming up. One is called work from anywhere policy. And this is where they're saying to employees, hey, you know, as long as you're checking in in the summer, you're working, you're productive, you're dialing in, we don't care where you live. You can live in your summer home, you can visit family, you can rent an Airbnb somewhere, whatever you want to do, as long as you're reconnecting with us, you know, feel free to work from anywhere. The second one is that we're just seeing people offer more virtual work so that people in the summer can cut out those long commutes and again you know jump back into their personal life as soon as the work day is over career coach liz bentley thank you so much for joining us so nice to see you this morning and happy summer to you thanks great to see you too mary